Hey, today I am excited to show you this brand new item I just got from Edelkrone. It is the Target system. It's a one of the brand new motion control uh, units from Edelkrone. And the other one I got is the Wizard. So if you are interested in learning more about the Wizard, then check out my other video on it. Um, in this video, we're going to focus on the Target itself. So this is the Target um, unit. And it consists of two main components. You have the control box here, and you also have the motorized head, and that's connected by this data cable here. And I wasn't aware of this until I actually got it and started playing with it, but it actually has four different modes. You have uh, tracking on the ground, whereas this unit sitting on the ground. You have tracking when it's mounted to a tripod, like it is now. You're going to have a panoramic mode and an auto pan mode. So in this video, I want to show you um, the different modes so you can uh, get a sense for everything that this thing can do. Now, the motion control units, um, when I first saw the pictures, I always saw them together. So I kind of assumed that you had to have both units in order for everything to work, uh, which isn't the case. You can utilize these things independently or in conjunction with one another. So the first thing you'll need to do is replace that cloth belt that's on your Slider Plus version 2. Um, you're going to utilize the supplied geared belt that comes with the target. And it is necessary to change that out, otherwise it's not going to work. And it does only work with the Slider Plus version 2. It doesn't work with the original. So attaching your target is super easy. Um, there's actually two screws that are included for mounting here, and then the head it simply screws down onto the camera carriage and then you connect the two with a data cable. Well, now once you have that installed, now there is a few ways of powering your target. Uh, one is utilizing the supplied AC adapter or you can actually choose uh, one of three different battery plates and those battery pit plates fit your um, commonly used camera batteries. And depending on the batteries you use and how many batteries, um, you can get up to eight hours on a full charge. Now, the battery plate does accept two batteries, but it only really needs one to operate. One cool thing that I'll uh, mention is that this connecting cord looks like it uses a standard telephone jack. So that makes it very easy to replace if you lose it or you damage it but I thought it was a nice touch to utilize kind of a common cable so it's easy to replace. Now we're going to look at the modes of the targeting system. The first two modes are essentially the same. There's targeting for the ground or targeting for the tripod. Um, I'm going to do, obviously, the tripod mode. And we're going to go ahead and move this joystick left and right um, to select the different um, options. And when we select an option we actually press straight down so we're going to pick tripod it says set to zero so you use that same joystick and you can move the um, the head left and right and this is for your initial position so your starting position so it says set to zero so we want to have that set let's say right there and we're going to select by pushing straight down um, you have information displayed in centimeters and inches. Right now it says 50 centimeters. So I'm just going to leave that there just for the sake of demonstration. And we're going to select that. So that's it. You've uh, activated your target and it's ready to go. So you can see as I move this, the camera automatically is targeting a subject that would be 50 centimeters away from the camera. Now, the one thing you're going to want to make sure that you keep with you is a ruler. Um, it is essential for getting a proper target um, that you measure from your subject to the center of the motorized head for proper alignment. So make sure you do have a ruler with you. And it's very, very easy to, uh, to set up, and it really doesn't take all that much time. Uh, I actually had this out of the box, and after I watched the uh, instruction video that they had on their website, uh, I was up and running in about five minutes. It was really, really easy to use. Uh, one nice thing is, is that if you need to go back and readjust the target distance from the camera, all you have to do is um, push straight down on it. It will bring you back to your, um, your measurement. You can make your adjustment, and then click back down, and then you're back into 
uh, target active mode that you can uh, start tracking again. So now switching between the modes um, after you've selected it is uh, simple. You just turn the unit off and that basically resets the uh, slider's um, uh, mode capability here. And we turn it back on and we're gonna go to mode number three. Now the third mode is the panoramic mode. So we're gonna select that on here. Panoramic mode is uh, a mode that sweeps the camera from left to right or right to left as you move the slider. So this would be a great uh, thing to utilize for a really wide sweeping establishing shot. Um, and setting up the uh, panoramic mode is actually really, really easy. So when you go to the panoramic mode, you select that, it says set to zero. So again, you're gonna point the camera at your uh, beginning uh, subject there. And we're gonna go next. So right now I have um, the ability to move the joystick left or right, and I can choose whether I want information displayed in centimeters or inches. So for the sake of ease, we're gonna leave that at centimeters, and it says 2.5 degrees per centimeter. So that means that we can actually rotate the camera two and a half degrees per centimeter of travel. Now you can see that the camera is panning left as I move it right. And if you want it to pan in the same direction as the slide, that's very easy. All you have to do is go back. We'll set this back to uh, zero. Select. And we're actually gonna move the, um, the measurement value into the negative. So degrees per centimeter, we're actually gonna go to a negative 2.5 degrees per centimeter and select that. And so now as you pan one way, the camera matches it. So if I pan to my right, the camera moves to its right. If I pan to my left, the camera moves to its left. So by entering in positive or negative values, you can achieve different directions with your pans. So that's pretty much it for the third mode on there. And we're gonna look at the last mode. And the last mode is your automatic panoramic mode. So I'm gonna turn the unit off again, and this is gonna reset the, uh, the mode, turn it back on. And in the automatic panoramic mode, it simply just rotates the camera. All you have to do is enter in how many degrees per second you want it to move. So how many degrees of rotation per second? And then you're gonna tell it the total degrees of rotation. So let's select that. We're gonna move it over to auto pan. Select that. Set to zero. Um, it's pretty good right now, so I'll leave it. Degrees per second. Now right now it's set up for 10 degrees per second. So every second goes by, it'll rotate 10 degrees. So we'll leave that at default just for uh, demonstration purposes. And it says the range. So the range is 120 degrees. So if we select that, you'll see it automatically goes into an auto pan mode and it rotates at 10 degrees per second for 120 degrees. So you get a perfectly smooth pan. It'll tell you when the pan is complete. All we have to do is push down it resets itself back to uh, your zero point, and you can repeat that mode um, by selecting those parameters again, or it allows you to change those parameters. So if you've got the target, you're gonna wanna look at the L bracket accessory. I think it's a must have, and it's not a lot more for you to get that bracket to go along with this, and it's just gonna allow you to do a lot more with the targeting system. So this bracket is used mostly in the tracking modes, and it allows the camera to rotate on a horizontal axis rather than just vertical. So using the bracket allows tracking for up and down rather than just left to right. Now. When you're utilizing the L bracket, you're gonna to want to, here's the L bracket, um, 
take the head and it does tilt 90 degrees. So you'd actually tilt the head 90 degrees, attach your L bracket, and then as you go, you can be tracking in this direction as well. And it will actually turn the camera. One thing you do want to make sure if you're going to use this L bracket is that it's properly balanced. So there's a great video from Edel Crone showing you exactly how to balance your camera on the bracket before you attach it to the head. Um, by properly balancing the um, camera on the L bracket, it lessens the strain on the motor. So when you are using the L bracket, it changes the max load capacity to 11 pounds. Normally in the vertical position, you'd have a 22 pound uh, capacity. So be careful of what you're putting on it. Um, most of these types of cameras aren't going to exceed that uh, 11 pound weight limit. But if you have a bigger camera, be sure that you're not going to overload it. So I'm going to set this up here and we're going to show you how this works real quick. So essentially the whole process is the same. Um, we're going to pick target on a tripod. We're going to set this to zero. So let's say I want it to end here and I want to have it pointed down when I end there. So I'm going to set that as my zero point. So I'm going to end on a 90 degree pointing straight down. Okay, so I'm going to select that. So we're just going to measure this here. Measures out at 37 centimeters. We're going to go ahead and enter that information to the target and select. And now we're ready to go. So as I move back, you see it's actually going to be targeting that spot on the ground. And as I move into it, the camera is going to come and look right at it. So definitely look at that L bracket if you're looking into the targeting system. It's definitely well worth the, uh, the extra money to, to add that to the arsenal. And that pretty much concludes the uh, look at L Crone's brand new target motion control system. And as always, thank you for watching.